For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. Hey guys, there's nothing on my skin right now except for my Farsali Volcanic Elixir. I just let that sit on my skin for a little bit and I'm going to be working on my foundation first. These are two foundations from L'Oreal and I'm buffing this onto my skin with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki which I've mentioned so many times that I love. I'm so happy you guys requested this video on my favorites video and I'm so happy that I filmed it. So here it is for you guys. I'm going to contour my skin. This is the Bobbi Brown foundation stick and I'm just taking a small stipple brush from e.l.f. and putting that wherever I would normally contour. So the hollows of my cheeks, below my lip, my nose, temples, jawline, and hairline. All product names and details will be in the description box below for those of you guys who are interested. This time around, I'm actually contouring the crease of my eye as well just to add a little bit of depth and dimension because I don't have that much of a crease. My eyes are a little hooded, so just adding that into the crease for a little something different. Then I'm going to highlight the centers of my face. I'm not going to be using a concealer. I'm just going for this Mali Beauty Under Eye Perfect Prep Brightener. I really love this stuff. I use this sometimes just as a concealer and I find that it covers fine. It is a little sheer though, so if you have darker circles and you want a little bit more coverage, this is not going to work on its own. So this is going under the eye, bridge of the nose, centers of the face, and right below my contour. Then I'm just going to set that with my MAC highlighting powder and I'm only setting it under my eyes because I don't want it to move. And I'm just pushing that into the under eye so that it doesn't crease on me. Now I'm going for a cream contour. This is by MAC. It's one of their cream color bases and I'm applying this with a Real Techniques foundation brush. Again, all the names and details will be in the description box below so it's easy for you guys to follow along. This highlight is going on the tops of my cheekbones, above my brow, below my brow, bridge of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and a tiny little bit onto the forehead. This is just going to add a little bit of light to the face and just make your skin look like it's glowing. So that's why I did that. Then I'm going to set that cream contour that I applied with a powder contour color. And this is by MAC. It's one of their sculpting powders. And I'm pretty much going exactly wherever I went with the cream contour. For my highlighter, I'm going to be using a pink toned highlighter. I don't always use a pink highlighter because I don't have pink undertones, but sometimes it's fun to switch it up a little bit. And I was going for a all pink look, so a pink highlighter was appropriate. So that's going exactly wherever I put the cream highlighter earlier. And for my blush, I'm going to take this beautiful baked blush from NYX and just buff that onto my skin, going back towards my contour and on the cheekbone. And I love these blushes. They're so beautiful. They give the most beautiful, luminous sheen. Love them. For my lips, I am using a lip liner from NYX and I'm filling in my entire lip and lining my lip at the same time. And I actually went for a pretty pale lip, but after I filmed this entire video and after I got fully ready, I was like, uh, this is a little too pale for my tan skin. So I deepened it up just a little bit more, but that wasn't on camera. So I'll have whatever I use in the description box below. This is just a lipstick from Maybelline and this is where I was like, oh, too light. <laughs> So now I'm gonna brush out my brows and work on my brows. I'm gonna be using this brow pencil from Sigma. I like to switch my brow routine up all the time. I just have so many brow products that I just kind of experiment with new things all the time. So just filling in the sparse areas and making them slightly thicker. This pencil is a little bit lighter than my natural brow color, so that's why I'm using it to thicken up my brows a little bit. Then I'm going to go for a matte pink highlight. This is from Sigma. You can use any highlight. I'm going to be having shimmer on the lids, so I want to go for a matte brow highlight. Now I'm going to work on my eyeshadow. I'm just priming my lids with my NARS eyeshadow primer and blending that all over. And I'm going to be using a matte cream color as the entire lid color. I'm going for a pretty matte neutral lid, but I will have shimmer on my lower lash line, so I'm keeping the lid very neutral. This creamy color is going all over the entire lid, just blending that all over. If you want the creamy color to turn out more intense, you can apply a creamy base underneath, but I didn't want it that intense. Then I'm going for this pink color by MAC into the crease, 
And then a little later on, I was like, okay, this is a little too much pink. There's pink on my eyes, pink on my cheeks, pink on my lips. So I just kind of deepened that up just a tiny little bit with a smaller brush and a deeper brown color. And this is just going into the crease wherever I applied that darker pink color, just to add a little bit more dimension and depth and take away a little bit of the pink from the crease. If you love pink everywhere, by all means, go for it. I'm just not a fan of pink on the lids, pink on the cheeks, pink on the lips, so I like to kind of take out that pink a little bit from the lid and just make sure it's all nicely buffed in. Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I am using the Inglot Gel Eyeliner. I love this gel eyeliner. I don't use any other liner. I love how it's so matte and black and long wearing. Mine is getting a little bit old right now, so I'll probably need to get a new one soon because it's getting a little bit chunky. But I'm just winging out my eyeliner. I'm keeping it medium sized. It's not super thin and it's not super thick. It's right in the middle. So just using an angled brush to apply that. And normally I hate using angled brushes, for liner, but lately I've really liked it because both of my liner brushes were dirty and I was just, I just didn't clean them. <laughs> I was lazy. Cleaning your brushes is the worst. So then for my lower lash line, I used the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow and I used this Stila silicone brush to apply this. Honestly, I wish I would have used the liquid that comes with it to apply this, but I totally forgot and I just applied it on its own. So it was a little difficult to work with, but with the liquid, it's a lot easier to work with. So next time when I do this look, I'll definitely be using the liquid just to make it a little er easier and not as messy. So just applying this all over my lower lash line. And then for my inner corner, I'm gonna take this Infallible Eyeshadow by L'Oreal and pop that into the inner corner. It's very similar to the Stila eyeshadow I applied on the lower lash line, so I really like it. Then for my waterline, I decided to use this Inglot Gel Eyeliner. It's such a pretty color and adds a really beautiful pop of color. Then just gonna powder my face with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And there is the entire makeup look done. I don't know where the mascara part went, but I just used my usual dream team. You guys know what that is. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for requesting it and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.